one Senator Warren Hooper. It was a Friday afternoon, uh, Friday morning, cold wintry day, uh, was in his office. Warren Hooper had served a number of terms in the state house, uh, but had recently been elected to the state senate. Uh, he uh, had only been in office as a state senator uh, about 10 days, so he was sort of getting used to things. There are pictures of Warren Hooper. He is a very undistinguished looking man, uh, to be honest about it. He has a hairline about like mine. Uh, he has a kind of a long face, sort of gently rounded, uh, weak chin, I think it's fair to say. The only thing that's at least remarkable about him is his eyes. Uh, his eyes are black and blank, like buttons stuck in his, in his face. Uh, he had one other characteristic, which was not remarkable in Lansing or Michigan of that era. He was a crook. Uh, he had been taking bribes for years as a state representative and was certainly looking forward to a long and profitable career at higher price levels as a state senator. Uh, but he was sitting in his office and he was sitting in a milieu in Lansing that is far different from the one we know. So it was Sam singing in the nighttime, singing in the nighttime. He had, um, he was a natural born dip diplomat. And he was able to convince the, the warring factions, if you will, to stop killing one another and start concentrating on making money, uh, which in fact, when Prohibition came along, they sort of fell into the money pit. Uh, the other criminal element in Detroit was one which is absolutely unique in the United States. Uh, there have been Jewish mobsters in the United States, lots of them. Uh, Mo Dallas, Jake Greasy Thumb Guzzi, uh, uh, Bugsy, don't call me Bugsy Siegel, uh, Dutch Schultz, uh, these were all uh, well-known and, and vicious uh, monsters, but in Detroit was the only large-scale Jewish gang in the country, and that was called the Purple Gang. Uh, they were the, the descendants of, usually the, the sons of, they were all males. Uh, recent immigrants from, Jewish immigrants from Poland and from uh, Russia. Uh, they lived on the east side of Detroit, uh, in an area that uh, uh, Hastings Street, if you know Detroit, uh, it later became with the African American uh, migration after World War I and World War II, it became Black Bottom, uh, and then it's now mostly two or three freeways. Uh, 